Hello everyone, this is Lightning Raijin and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox. When we last left off, we journeyed through the Rostro Mountains in order to get in order to get to the Eastern Tartarus Rift. Though first we though first we made a quick stop to the ruins of Rostro, then journeyed through to the Tartarus Rift. And then only to only to emerge to find the place was still completely attacked. Oh yeah, we even recruited Promistine along the way. <laughs> It's always nice to have a new member. Oh yeah, but what? But as soon as we got to Rostrum, apparently something bit, something big happened. Well, we received a letter, surprisingly, from Lucas' father Marcellus, whom we found out has been journeying around through the Tartarus Rifts, and also somehow has the same powers as Luca to be able to open the doors from to, to alternate worlds. So now, as by the le upon reading the letter, now we have our next destination in mind. The place known to a now we are going to a place known as Enrica. Now, before that, though, just want to let you guys know right now, I uh, I once again did did some more level grinding. I recruited the rest of the monsters I needed to get up to this point. I even recruited the the other apoptosis monsters I didn't get before, and well. I, I, now I've got this gem right here, Riot. <laughs> I, now, I don't know why, but this Apoptosis in particular has some popularity to her. Probably because, well, well, apparently what I heard, she's the most decent Apoptosis there is. And, well, she's pretty good, I hear. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I just wanted to I just want to say thanks again to Sacred Guard for seeing this, buddy. Thank you for being a guest commentator in my Let's Play in my last video. I hope to work with you again soon. Now then, now before I go to Enrica, there's one quick little thing I want to take care of first. Just give me a second. Whoops. <laughs> I thought I came to the wrong one. Wrong Rostrum. This Rostrum. Wait, what the? Oh, it's been... Alternate, alternate. <laughs> I thought that meant. <laughs> wow, I, I feel really silly right now. Okay. Now, where was it? Ah, there it is. Chef's license to taint. So this is the thing that um, Alfonso, the chef Alfonso from Rostro, left behind. All right. With that, so with that license, we can now open up the the chef the chef job class. Hmm. Might as well check it out. Hmm. Let's see. I just want to check. Ah, there it is. So I can now make somebody a cook. It's nice to know. Oh yeah, I also want to know. Let you guys know, I changed Luca's um, changed Luca's job class to warrior. He is that's right. He's no longer an apprentice hero as I maxed that out during my level grinding. It's kind of what I was aiming for to do that. So yeah, now that he's a warrior, he'll learn some pretty more more useful techniques along the way. I just think it suits him. All right. Now with that said. Just gonna probably be quicker this way since I'm near my I'm near where I'm supposed to go anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Now let me see if I have my formation just right. Um, hmm. Let me just buy a couple more harpy feathers. Alright. Hmm. Oh yeah, I gotta take care of that. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna take another brief detour. That was weird. This should just take a few shakes. It oh darn it! Man, I am crashing right now. <sighs> okay, this time for realsies. Ah, oh, there we are. 
This is where we store the little supplies. The excess stock is free to be sold to merchants and travelers. Hello, my name is Vanilla. I'm a merchant, and I would like to sell the three kinds of magical stones in my shop. Oh, what a cute shopkeeper we have here. But don't expect me to go easy on you when we get down to business. Vanilla negotiates an original with a storehouse keeper. The business experience she's gained so far really shows. Good. I have no objections to those terms. You can retrieve your goods from there. Thank you very much. I look forward to dealing with you more in the future. <laughs> so now I can buy fire, ice, and thunderstones. Wow, those really sound like the evolutionary stones from Pokemon. <laughs> I digress there, though. Alright, this time for real. There are the stones. I've got plenty of each, though. Now I need some Echo Grass and Restoratives. Only a skilled doctor would deal in these kinds of drugs. A skilled doctor? I can't think of any. Hmm. Yeah, nobody definitely comes to mind. We just probably haven't met anyone like that yet. Alright, I'm gonna edit my party around. Let's see. Hmm. Based on where I'm going, I'm only gonna need someone that can do pretty... Hmm. I'll take Promistine. Let's see. So, yeah. Gonna hang on to ride to level her up. I'll need lime in case there are treasures I can find. Hmm. Huh. Actually, I think that's about it. That's all I really need. This is the party I'll hold up. I think this is the party I can do well with. Oh. <laughs> Ignore that. Let's, let's put that back how it was. Alright. Lost Woods. Extremely dangerous. Novice Avengers do not enter. I was always told never to step foot into this forest. We don't have any business inside. Perhaps we better not enter. Well, unfortunately, Sonya, we do. Okay, I think we're good on equipment. This forest has many exits, and I imagine only one of them leads us to Enrica. I feel the presence of many Dark Elves around as well. Why are they living way out here? Dark Elves? Can we catch a few as specimens? <laughs> oh, promise, Dean. Ugh, I got a feeling having you around is going to be pretty entertaining. Hmm. So this place could have other exits, eh? But I guess, guess I better be on the lookout. Firestone. Hmm. So there are jack-o'-lanterns and... Huh. Got some new girls here. They're fairies. Oh, wait. I want some money. The nearby village is selling tiny ribbons. Uh, sure. Big bro? Wow, those fairies don't have a lot of HP, do they? Hmm. I guess this is what level grinding can get you. Blue treasure chest. Ah, dang. Whoa! A Dark Elf Swordsman, two Dark Elf Swordsmen, and a Dark Elf Mage. I don't want to be like to have L's on my squad. I know their weakness. I know Elves' weaknesses, so it's... Do you have any benefactor? Do you have a benef a benefactor? Uh, Aunt Aunt Betty. I'll just say nobody. That's a lonely life. It would be so much better if you just ran away and fell into darkness. Oh, geez, that's not good. Oh, Lord. 
nature scroll. What's this? Uh, where did I end up? Hmm. I probably don't want to find out. If I'm not where I'm supposed to be, I'm not going to bother. Three jack-o'-lanterns. Eh, they're not going to be much. Elves are the protection of nature itself, herself. We're resistant to natural elements, including wind, earth, and water. We're very susceptible to pleasure, though. Not like we're nymphomaniacs or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, I barely... Wait a sec, I barely know what a nymphomaniac is. Stone of Solidified Tears? That's a new one. Two Dark Elf Swordsmen. No, just an elf. You aren't even sure a Dark Elf. Guess bringing the root girl along was a good idea. Mysterious acorn? This way leads to the beach, not Tenrika, just so you know. So it doesn't. Whoa, Nelly. Now I guess I'm stuck with this. So that so that down there led to the beach. If that's the case. I'm not really having a hard time, but Ice Stone and Thunderstone. Small metal. Sure is a huge forest. I wonder if I'm in the right place. Can't tell. I was in the upper part of the Ilias continent. Near Iliasburg, I believe. Okay, so I should go. I should go this way then. There's another exit down over there. So. Oh. Hey, hey! I want to go on adventure too. Well, looks like I'm gonna get a ferry. Yay! Nice to meet you. All right, to the pocket castle with you. See you, little fella. Alright. An elixir. Alright, I guess that's about it. Oh! Wow! It's like right... A town right next to me. Enrica. Well, I made it. So this is the hidden village, Enrica. It has a somewhat mysterious atmosphere. I knew there were dark elves in the forest, but something feels strange. Wait, are there angels living here too? No doubt. There are angels and fallen angels alike here. Hidden Village is a good name for the place. Okay, we need to look for Michaela. I wonder if we could ask one of the villagers. This is the Hidden Elf Village, Enrica. Outsiders aren't welcome here. I suggest you leave. Well, that's not very friendly. This Hidden Village accepted even outcasts like us, so please leave us in peace. Okay, they seem rather particular of themselves. Hmm. 
We reserve the right to refuse service to those we don't know. My apologies, but we don't trust you enough to stay here. Something tells me this place is going through some issues. Oh my, to think a customer will come to this inn. How unusual. How many years has it been since a human came here? You won't be able to stay the night, though. Not when we don't know who you are. We've come here to play, too. It's quiet and there's plenty of flowers and grass. I don't know why, but something's definitely off here. These Alice and the Angels around here, I think? Another small metal. A vampire. Aren't these, like, high-level monsters? Don't cause any trouble here. A Medusa. What? I'm not causing trouble to any humans. Jeez. They're rather jumpy. Wait, did I check that pot up there? Oh yeah, I did. Huh. Wonder whatever happened to what wonder whatever happened to the customer is always right. But the refusal thing, it actually does make sense. I'm playing hide and seek. Don't get close to me, I'll be found. And here's a mirror again. <laughs> Didn't expect to run into her here. Ah, uh, I've got to do something. No, it has nothing to do with you travelers. Here's a weapon shop. The elven magic blacksmith embeds elemental power into equipment. Weapons here exert additional power upon enemies weak to that element. We don't deal with strangers, though. There's no point in asking. An Enrican hat? That's new. That's new. It's not as defensive as, as the gold helm, though. sell to strangers, sorry. Yeah. This place is going through some problems. Please don't look. Don't look at what? Well, that was an angel up there. Hmm. Welcome to the hidden village in Rika. Michaela's home, you can see it south of here. Thank you for pointing it out, but why are you angels here? Heaven vanished during the great disaster 30 years ago. All that's left are several of us who happen to be on a mission to the surface. We who were left behind to receive Michaela's protection, and the secret village has been supporting us ever since. I see. Where did Vina hide, I wonder? Oh, so that's a very looking for the other one up there. It appears that you have business with Michaela. Unfortunately, you won't be able to meet with her. What does she mean by that? Talk to her already. There's a dog girl here. <laughs> I thought these doggy slippers so my I bought these doggy slippers so my heels won't hurt anymore. What what are you looking at? Jeez, these angels are pretty paranoid. Travelers, please don't tell others about this village. I am good at keeping secrets. High quality herb. What is it? Bananas. Not very talkative. Huh. What's with these angels? They won't talk. These ones won't talk to me. The elves down here won't either. Yamatai Sake. Huh, who's this? Oh. Elise. Hmm? What is it? You want a battle fuck? Alright then, the bet's 150 gold. If you win, I'll give you an accessory suited for bows and arrows. No thanks. I really need to I really need to keep a note. If I see any NPCs I don't recognize, I, I need to assume they're battle fuckers. Stone is solidified tears. This is Mikhail's residence. At the moment she's well, please come in for the details. Okay. I'm Amadongo. <laughs> Look at me just ransacking houses everywhere I go. Well, that's pretty much a privilege every RPG hero has. Aw, cute kitty. Is this Michaela? No, there's no way. 
Welcome to the hidden village, Enrico. Please don't cause any trouble while you're here. I came to be Mc This village is mine. No, 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 I'm, I, no, I'm on serious business here. I have no time for jokes. I came to meet Michaela. To meet Michaela? It can't be. If you're Luca... Oh, please say you're not. Okay, that's strange. I am Luca. Why, Michaela, why? Tears appear on the elf's eyes. Why? What in the world could Luca have done? I'm sorry, let me start from the beginning. This is all related to Michaela's last will. L last will? Then this Michaela person is already... Well, the story dates back to half a month ago. Michaela, who governed over this village, said this to me. I'll be leaving the village for a while. There are some people out there I need to stop, no matter what. Then she added, if a boy named Luca comes looking for me, it means I have lost my life. Luca's coming here means Michaela is dead? How does that make any sense? E and so Michaela left the village. We've heard no news of her for the last two weeks. And now today, Luca appears here. This is too much. That's quite the ominous prophecy, but does it really mean that Michaela is dead? No. Considering what's at stake, I can't simply accept that Michaela is gone. I have to believe she's still alive. She also told me that you're related to her, and I should do everything in my power to assist you. We're related? I have more family members? It appears you had no idea, but your father knew. We shall aid you as best as we can. Please accept these. Baptized dagger, Enrique's shirt, mysterious hairpin. I shall inform the other villagers to help you, although they have to make a living too, and won't be able to give you everything for free. No, that's alright, thank you very much. What do we do now, though? Michaela was our best lead, and we weren't able to meet with her. We've been to both Tartarus Rifts on the Ilias continent. The remaining ones require us to travel north to Centora. To get to Centora, we'll need to go to Iliasport. From there, we can take a ship north. You're heading to Centora? Please be careful, that whole area is on the edge of a huge conflict. Yeah, the four major countries, they're at war, right? I've heard news of it even in Elias Temple. No, that's not the problem. Humans might not be aware of it, but there's a power struggle among monsters as well. A power struggle? I need to know what's going on there. Uh, guys, just give me a second. Sorry, I just had to get a water bottle. <clears throat> a power struggle? I need to know what's going on there. There are three monster lords vying for power right now, which has seriously shaken the balance of power between monsters. Wait, three monster lords? I thought there were only two. No, what? It, nah, it's been a nah, it's been a while. I, I guess I kind of lost. I guess I kind of lost track of some things. I'm pretty sure, though, I'm pretty sure Alice herself right now is the only monster lord at the moment, but three of them? What? Two idiots are making plays for my throne while I'm weakened? Actually, there are three new monster lords. I wasn't including Alphys the 16th. Oh. Okay, so I was right there. Hmm. What? They're already assuming I abdicated? Now that Alphys the 16th has disappeared, the leader of the Monster Lord's army is the previous Monster Lord, Alephes the 15th. What? What kind of joke is that? Mother is long since dead. This is ridiculous. She must be a fake pretending to be my mother. The Monster Lord's army should have ha should have many of the 15th's former subordinates. Do you think they'd really be fooled by an imposter? In any case, the force of the 16th were taken over by the 15th Monster Lord, who claims to be the rightful successor to the throne. There's no way I'd accept that. No matter what anyone says, she's just a fake pretending to be my mother. So besides her, who are the other two monster lords? I bet they're more no-good pretenders, aren't they? Whoa. She's creepy. One of the two remaining monster lords is a petite Yoma who calls herself Black Alice. Black Alice? That was Alephi's the Eight's nickname! Supposedly destroyed by the hero Heinrich, even among monster lords, her ability was said to be top-notch. Black Alice attracted Yoma, who stood in opposition to the monster lord's peaceful policies. As a result, many of the aggressive and fiendish Yoma have affiliated with themselves with her. They still haven't entered direct conflict with Alephys the 15th, but it's only a matter of time. So she's either a fake pretending to be a monster lord from the legends, or she's really Black Alice. In either case, no powerful monster would follow her if she were weak. The fact that Black Alice gathered such forces is proof of her strength. I don't know who she is, but I doubt she's a fraud. 
a villain pretending to be my mother, a legendary monster lord, and you said there's a third monster lord, right? The third monster lord is a girl calling herself Alephys the 17th. Okay. This is... This is unexpected. Alephys the 17th? Now they're acting like I'm dead too? So who is this 17th? What forces does she lead? She has no subordinates and leads no one. She claims to be the Monster Lord all by herself. What's with that? She's just a self-proclaimed Monster Lord then. Do the others not even think it's worth getting rid of her? On the contrary, they're afraid of her the most. Even though she doesn't have any help, her own power is unbelievable. In Lady's Village, Alephys the Seventy fought off the Neric family's head Cassandra. That got everyone's attention. Immediately after that, she appeared in Plantset Village and defeated everyone in there by herself. She forced both the insects and the plants to surrender, then took control of the area. She defeated everyone? Do you know how many monsters live in that village? It's more than just a few hundred! The Queen Bee and Priestess, elites from both insect and plant factions. She's defeated all of them? Alone? The next place she appeared was a small village in Northern Centora. It was occupied by Arachnid forces, but... The Arachne clan led by the Spider Princess, right? So while I'm not there, they're doing whatever they damn please. Even they were crushed as soon as Alephys the 17th showed up. She drove them out of the village and forced them into a remote cave. The Arachne are all battle-crazy veterans. Even I would have had a hard time defeating them alone. After that, the 17th appeared all over, as if going around to defeat strong monsters on a whim. What's really strange is that in all the chaos, there was not a single death. The Queen's attacked by the 17th were all forced to remain within narrow territories. After that, she picked a fight with the Swordswoman Grand Baria. Five hours later, they were still evenly matched as they repeatedly attacked and defended themselves, neither able to secure the upper hand. Hmm. Well, of course she couldn't defeat Grand Baria. Still, she must be strong to force her into a draw. Yes, her fight with Grand Baria ended in a draw. Not surprising considering how tired she must have been by then. Tired? What do you mean? All of this happened in a single day, starting with the defeat of Cassandra to the duel with Grand Barry. All of that happened in a day? Who is this girl? One day? She did all that in just one day? Moreover, when she tied with Grand Barry, the 17th said, I still can't afford to show my true power. Do you, do you understand now why the 17th is more feared than the others? Even alone, her fighting abilities are without a doubt beyond that of the 15th or Black Alice. She's quite the force to be reckoned with. Just who in the world is she? That's what I want to know. Three monster lords fighting against one another. The 8th, the 5th, the 15th, and the 17th. I feel like I've been forgotten completely. Given all that, take care when you're in Centora. Conflict between the three monster lords is heating up. As the current monster lord, I can't ignore this. It seems like we have even more to do in Centora. It feels like the only thing increasing is the amount of stuff we need to do. We haven't resolved anything yet. I get the feeling that all this is connected by a single thread, though. The Great Disaster, Tartarus, your father, the three monster lords, all of them. That's why we can't stop here. Let's take the ship across Centora. To do that, our next destination is Iliasport, the town north of Iliasburg. We're in too deep to quit now. I'm in this to the end. Q Q Q! Well then, we're heading to Iliasport. I wish you luck in battle. If you learn anything about Michaela, please come tell me. I refuse to believe that Michaela is truly dead. She'll come back eventually, I just know it. If you learn anything about Michaela, please come tell me. I feel like you're bound to come cross paths with her eventually. Um, I have a request. Could you please come to the item shop? I wonder what this is about. Let's go take a look. Huh. I wonder what she wants. Wow. Point A to point B. I'm grateful for your coming all the way here. I'm responsible for preparing medicines in this village, but... With Michaela gone missing, many of our residents left to look for information outside the village. Because of that, we don't have enough people around to gather the necessary materials. That's where you come in. While I know it's wrong to ask this of Michaela's relative, it's difficult for people who aren't used to traveling to get what we need. Specifically, we need a healing seashell that can be found at Lemieux Beach south of here. Would you go there and look for one look for one for us? In return, I'll give you some of the medicine I make. Uh, sure, I suppose. 
Thank you very much. Once again, healing seashells can be found at Lemuse Beach. Lemuse Beach is south of here. However, you will need to enter the Lost Woods first. Once you enter the Lost Woods to the store southwest, you'll see Lemuse Beach. I remember that fairy I ran into in the Lost Woods pointing that out for me. I guess I know where to go. Also, now you'll sell me something. Not sure if a dagger really suits Luca very much. I have this Enrican shirt. Looks like it's better left with Promistine. Enrican hat. Promistine again. Breeze cape? Isn't this an access? Yes, it's an accessory. Mirror ring. Magic reflection. A light ring. Fire pendant. Ice, lightning, wind, earth. No, oh, I get it. These are pendants that help ward off certain kinds of damage. I think that's all I really need here. Alright. I'm just gonna make a quick stop at the inn. are being dropped one after another. First we found out with Heinrich, and now we now we found out that three monster lords, one of which is unbelievably uber powerful, doing all that stuff in a single day, have just have come to light. My god, this just keeps getting this just keeps getting more hectic the more I go along. Jesus Christ, this game's amazing. <sighs> well in any case, this seems like the perfect point to stop. My god, now I have more stuff I need to process. So yeah, with that said, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Please like, please like and subscribe, and please follow me on my tumblers. This is Lady Ryan, signing off.